What's the injury situation, mate? Not too bad. Yeah, a um, couple of bangs, bruises. You know, it was pretty physical, but everyone's good to go. Can you hear me? My bad reaction after is that Rackers returning. His ankle looked all right, didn't it? Yeah, no, he's, he's trained again this week. He didn't have any ill effects from the game, and um, he'll, he'll be involved this week again. The normal duration for that synesmosis repair is about eight weeks. Um, Geordie Murphy, I think, was a touch under seven, and uh, Keane was about five. So, you know, the medical team's doing a great job. Uh, the surgeon's obviously um, repairing them well, and, you know, the boys work really hard in their rehab, and uh, as, he, as he showed on Sunday, the ankle looked pretty good. If there's any team to be class of bogey team for Lens over the last number of years has been the Ospreys. Um, you might say that they've nothing to play for coming over here, but <clears throat> we beat them in the first game over there. And you know, if the roles were reversed, I'm sure we'd be looking to we'd be going to beat them. You know, on the, the the return fixture, and I'd say be no different for them this weekend. Yeah, I mean, we haven't had any more discussions this week. I mean, like I've always said, you know, we we confident that we can provide the environment that that guys want to be a part of. You now that. They got to make a decision, you know, and uh, you know we're not in control of all those, all those parameters. But you know, you know, it should be, uh, we should have a decision pretty soon, hopefully. What is the time frame? What do you, what do you expect? Ah, there's there's no time frame from us. I mean, apart from as soon as possible, you know, it it's it's dragged on a long time from everyone's perspective, and you know, the sooner it is sorted out, um, so everyone's got a better clarity in what we're doing, it, the better everyone will be. We're looking at going out and, and winning, and that's the. It's the bottom line, really. We know if we win, we're, we're in the quarters for 100%. So um, I think everyone's firmly fixed on, 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 on the job at hand. And um, you know, it's got to be a, it's got to be a massive test. Like Matt was saying there, they got a whole host of lines in the pack. You know, really, really exciting, dangerous back line. And and the Tynican Cup rugby, you know, they'd love to come over here and get a scalp. So um, I think first and foremost, get to win and worry about anything else after that. Um, I think more so, it's. It's kind of turned into a bit of a joke now at the moment, like joking within the lads. Like last year, in terms when it was all up in the air with Johnny, um, it was kind of like maybe there wasn't much lads talking about it. But like you know, there's been lots of slagging going on with Shawnee about you know what's the <coughs> what's the agricultural stuff like down in Toulon, or you know Jamie, just a bit of crack with him as well. Like it's been all good banter, really. Like because I suppose that's the best way. It's it's the way the game is in the you know the modern era, and um, people come and go and. Like we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Like we'd love the lads to stay, but I think it's the best way to approach it is just kind of have the best, you know, have out everything, everything out in the open, talk about it, and have a bit of crack. Because other than that, you know, it's just going to be kind of the monkey in the room or whatever, the elephant in the room. Well, the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> monkey is bigger you know, it's more than an elephant. <laughs>